Wait, 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 wait! My my driver's arms are sticking out of the car right now. <laughs> Hello, everybody. That dude named Dale. Please honored and humbled as always. And we are back on Wreckfest here today, ladies and gentlemen. We are doing some more of the '90s NASCAR mod, the Sound of Thunder, and we are kicking it off, ladies and gentlemen, today at Talladega, everybody's favorite banger racetrack. We are rocking the classic Daryl Waltrip Western Parts America scheme. There, it's gonna be awesome. We also have another mod in here called the Ping Pong Effect. That's right, eight NASCAR NASCAR heat ain't got nothing on this Ping Pong Effect, apparently, ladies and gentlemen we're gonna try to do this talladega race uh with the sound of thunder the nascar 90s mod and ping pong ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for tuning in without much further ado let's get started so here we go we are at talladega and we're off to a decent start we got heavy metal hero and bouncer in front of us just a short little three lap race here at talladega see what we can do to avoid the chaos and the carnage and the destruction and this is a very different Talladega than what you usually see in Eddie Soundhead's videos this looks like a much more accurate Talladega if I may oh psycho he tried taking us out he tried he done tried but it didn't work to no avail nice run down the back straightaway look at this Passing cars left and right. Just passing them as fast as we can catch them. And we're good here. Oh, we touched the chief. He comes down on us. We save it, though, for the most part. Woo! Look at that. Saved it for the most part. Oh, the pro. Oh, big crash off before the pro's upside down. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Big O smash him up down the back straightaway as we take the lead already. <laughs> what? There is debris everywhere. There's cars, debris everywhere. But it is the white flag, ladies and gentlemen, and we have an 11-second lead. I was really thinking this was going to be a lot uh, more entertaining than that, but wow. I, it, I really thought it was going to be a lot more entertaining than what ended up being. Uh, but there are cars everywhere. There's cars everywhere laying around and whatnot. We're gonna pass the Undertaker here with relative ease. Um, but we have cars scattered all over the front stretch. You can see the bartender's hurting pretty good. We got one down over there, stuck against the wall. Death of plenty, but not anything for us as we get around the Suicide Squad. We get a little loose, but no big deal. Um, I really thought it was gonna be a lot more entertaining than this, but we're gonna looks like we're gonna actually uh, shed that bad luck that we had we got more cars down over here we got debris everywhere but we end up taking the win here we go debris and all winner winner chicken dinner and our very first attempt here at the Talladega Oval at the NASCAR 90s mod and with a best lap of 1 minute and 4.941 we smoked the rest of the field by at least 10 seconds Wow, I'm I'm really surprised. I really thought that was going to be maybe a little bit more entertaining for you guys. I apologize about that, that I had to shit stomp the field in this one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to try this one one more time. This time we're at Pocono, my favorite is of favorite tracks in NASCAR. And no, I am not being sarcastic. I love Pocono very, very much. Hopefully the ping pong thing, we can get a little bit more of an interesting race here. I never thought I would see the day where people would say, oh, well, uh, Pocono was more exciting than Talladega was. I I've never, I've literally never heard that. And yes, even me saying that sentence, it hurts me. It hurts me to talk negatively about my favorite track in the whole entire wide, wide world of racing, sports, and stuff yeah so we're gonna try this again three laps here at Pocono again we have the 90s NASCAR mod and we also have the ping pong effect on so let's give this a shot ladies and gentlemen and whomever did Pocono did an awesome job already getting packed right there the optician and they're already wrecking behind us chaos ensuing already on the front straightaway boys we even hit turn one yet what are we doing oh Man. Oh! Holy! Wow! 
Oh, and we got ass packed already, boys. We didn't even make turn one yet. Can we? Can we? Can we calm down? Can we? Can, can, calm down. Just, you know, can we make turn one first? <laughs> They're still wrecking over in turn one. My goodness. We're gonna get going here. They're rashing more in front of us. Psycho, Red Widow, the beast just packs Red Widow going in the middle of turn one. Trying to get our car up to speed here. You see, we got some damage here. We're missing pretty much our front valence. Our front valence right there is pretty much missing in its entirety. We're still trucking, ladies and gentlemen. We are still trucking along. Coming to the white flag here. One more lap to go here at Pocono. And it's kind of been a little bit of a downer race. Um, everybody's really spread out. And I, I was hoping it'd be a little bit more exciting. Nothing really has happened outside of the initial start of this event here. And we're going to try to pass the general here for 13th place. Rivet is the winner, ladies and gentlemen. Where we come off of turn number three. We're going to finish 13th. We did pass the general there going into the tunnel turn. Unfortunately, not a very good finish for us here at the first at our first attempt here at Pocono. Um, Got to do a lot better than that, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to try this one over again. Okay, attempt number two, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. See what we can make heads or tails of here. The master's going to hit Psycho. Psycho's got a nice little bump grab. He's probably going to run to the optician. There it is right there. Oh, we're spinning already down the front straightaway. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, shoved. Oh, my God. Open over. Big crash on the front straightaway. And we're stuck up on our side. Already it's begun. And they are wrecking everywhere behind us. We didn't even hit turn one yet, and we done wrecked again, guys. We got to be the smartest people in the world. More crash! Oh my God! Oh, into the catch fence! I've lost our left rear wheel. Oh my goodness! The atrocity, the inhumanity that is, and I can't even get my car to move. I'm gonna try to reset, but oh, that's it. We're just spinning our wheels here, ladies and gentlemen. We are done for the day. Unfortunately, we are done for the day. We're gonna have to restart this one again. Okay, attempt number three. Let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna try it something different. I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna go for the middle. I'm gonna go right about here. Undertaker is gonna bump the bartender, who's gonna bump the goddess. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. Yep, there it is. We get clean through turn one, almost clean into turn one, as we get rammed in the rear end. Once again on the front straightaway. We got this one doing the spinner Rooney over here in turn one. Oh my god. He's doing the Booker T spinner Rooney. Sup, sucker! And we got a bunch of slow cars. Oh, the goddess is coming up the track. This one's coming down the track. Oh man. Shot backwards like I was shot out of a cannon. This one's upside down. Better luck next time, Barmy Army. We got more guys flipping. This dude is dead. That guy is dead, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, holy crap! Oh, uh, I think we're done here, ladies and gentlemen. That's unfortunate. Yeah, we're missing a left front wheel. We are completely obliterated, ladies and gentlemen. So far, it's not been all that good here for us at Pocono. Attempt number three is a critical failure. All right, attempt number four here. That one was pretty wild, I'd say. Let's try this again. The Undertaker got a nice shitty start, so we're going to go ahead and pass him. Got a nice little acceleration run here. I got to keep my eye out. Crunch Bunch is going to give a shove to the tax man. Good. Screw the tax man. Here we go, off into turn one. We are clean for the most part. Oh, well, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. We are, oh my God, up and over and into orbit outside of the racetrack and wrecked. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it looked promising at least for about five seconds. All right, I'm gonna cheese this. This is attempt number five. And I'm gonna totally cheese this, all right? <laughs> Y'all could just go right the heck around me. I'm gonna pull off a strategy that I usually do in like a NASCAR Heat 4 lobby. 
or even a NASCAR Heat 5 lobby, because that came out yesterday, as of the time of I was recording this. Um, if I start in the back of an op of an open open lobby, I just I I'm starting in the back. I let them get ahead of me, and then they can all wreck. As you can see, that's exactly the strategy. The lay back, the lay back and chill strategy. The strategy made famous usually by Dale Jarrett. We have a minefield of cars that we're trying to avoid here. My goodness, the lay back, the hang back strategy used by Dale Jarrett a lot back when his time in the NASCAR uh, NASCAR Cup Series days at the restrictor plates. We are 17 seconds behind the pro, but we are in ninth. We survived turn one. We have a 100% car. We survived turn one. Let's see if this strategy plays out. Gonna pass the tax man here. Sorry, buddy. Looks like you've seen better days. Somebody else done beat the crap out of you. They got sick and tired of paying your taxes. Uh, oh, we got one in the middle of the track there. Got to avoid them. One up slow here in the middle of one. Lots of dead cars here on the long pond straight away. We are making up positions. We are up to six now. Heavy Metal Hero is now the leader. I want to see if we can't get a top five. We got to pass the doctor here who's been ass packed. Let's see if he's going to try and make a move. Nope. He was actually kind of nice. He let us go. So white flag one will have to go here at Pocono and there's carnage down in the entrance of turn one and it might be our leaders we are up to fourth we just passed someone for fifth we're up to third as death is a plenty in turn one here ladies and gentlemen up to third carnage everywhere on the long pond straight away we are closing in hard on the leader rivet and heavy metal hero here they are ladies and gentlemen right in front of us they crash and going into the tunnel turn big crash in the turn the leaders crash on the white flag lap and here we are taking the lead hook it up baby hook it up let's go insanity on the white flag lap has handed us the lead through turn three off of the final corner we are gonna cheese it ladies and gentlemen winning at Pocono with the most redundant of strategies by holding back at the beginning and avoiding the carnage we win at Pocono ladies and gentlemen sweet deal last lab carnage has gave us the opportunity to capitalize and we take the win at Pocono all right, ladies and gentlemen, I got one more for you. Keeping it NASCAR, officially NASCAR themed here, we're going to do TVTP ovals at Bristol. This is going to tickle your fancy. I am sure there's going to be a lot of destruction and chaos and batshit craziness. We're going to do attempt to race here at Bristol with the ping pong and the NASCAR 90s mod. Let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what kind of trouble we can land ourselves in. And already it's beginning. It's already beginning. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, we got all oh, the, the Jeff Gordon wannabe all getting wrecked up there already. Oh, we got destruction on the front straight away. And he's got to come up into the lead lap cars. Big crash into turn one. Cars everywhere. Scattered everywhere. Oh my goodness. Oh, the humanity. Somebody went up into the catch fence. I don't know who the hell that was. But we managed to find ourselves in second. And it's already the white flag lap here. Oh my god. Look at the carnage. Oh, the Undertaker. White flag. And we run into the Undertaker. Oh my goodness. Oh! Ass pack of the century. Crashed into turn one. Oh, another massive ass pack. And we're wrecked. Oh, that looked so promising for a minute. Oh my god, we got hit again. Holy cow. Wow, we ended up P12 in that one. That was um, nothing short of exciting. That's what you expect, especially from Bristol. That's exactly what you expect. Okay, attempt number two here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what's going to happen this time. See if we can avoid the chaos with the ping pongs that are already in it. We're already in it. Oh my god. Oh my god! What what happened? 
Look at this! Wait, 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 wait! My my driver's arms are sticking out of the car right now. <laughs> Look at this! Oh my god! We got destruction going on everywhere. There is literally nothing protecting my driver right now as we're driving carefully through these massive crashes in turn one. Look at this! The steering wheel's outside of the car! <laughs> my driver's head, once again, is holding up the roof of the car. And if that ain't a concussion, folks, I don't know what is. <laughs> oh, we got more records up here. Crunch a bunch. Oh, we run into the back and crunch a bunch. Or we at least door him anyways. Debris scattered everywhere like a minefield. Cars everywhere. We're somehow still running. Hey, I'm gonna run into the back of this dude. Because I'm not paying attention. So does Psycho. We're gonna lose some spots here. Oh, big collision off of turn four. The sea's almost part for us. But we have critical damage now. We're coming to the white flag. There's no chance we're gonna win this one. But let's at least finish this one out like men. Barmy Army takes the win. No car should ever be this badly bent out of shape as Psycho goes for a ride. We're going to somehow manage to come out with a decent finish here. P3 here at Bristol. Oh my goodness. I, I can't believe that. That car is not shaped like a car. That car is... Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, attempt number three or four or whatever, how many attempts this is. I have a different strategy. I'm gonna try to, well, I, oh my God. Oh my God, that looks like Nat, the world's worst NASCAR heat for lag right there. <laughs> oh my goodness, cars everywhere crashing. And we're gonna try to avoid them all. Oh, we're already up to fifth, but take a look. Cars flipping the humanity. Oh my goodness, people. We got one already on, on turn four here that's wrecked. We got one up against the wall. We got cars everywhere. Massive crash going into turn one. Where's Jim Ross when you- Oh no! <laughs> he slid up the track in front of me. We got this one still doing freaking pirouettes over here. The bouncer. The tax- Oh my god! We're on pit lane, boys. That's it. Uh, I'm on pit lane. I need a new pair of shorts. Because I done pooped mine, so... My goodness. We're still in second somehow. How the hell are we still in second? I have no idea how we're still in second. Heavy Metal Hero has nearly a whole lap on us. I almost got packed right here by the tax man. The tax man gets screwed right there. Debris and cars everywhere like a minefield. Heavy Metal Hero is probably going to take the win. There it is right there. As a matter of fact, Heavy Metal Hero is going to take the win. P2 here at Bristol for the most part as long as we can finish up relatively clean. And there it is, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. P2 at Bristol with a best lap of 22.45. Gonna have to do it one more time. We're gonna have to try to get this until we win. Because Ricky Bobby always said, if you ain't first, you're last. One more time here, ladies and gentlemen. I have a strategy. I have an idea. And I'm not gonna sit back and wait for them to all wreck this time. I'm just gonna, oh my god, I couldn't even do that if I wanted to. The goddess is back up the track and we get involved. We get collected in the calamity. Even before we hit turn one, there's cars everywhere lining the entrance of turn one. My goodness. Jim Ross said it best when he said, Will somebody stop the damn match? There's people in there! There's people in there! Got cars and human lives spread everywhere throughout this racetrack. We got cars flipping on the back straightaway. Oh my goodness! Joseph Lombard says, big smash him up on the back straight away. That dude, oh, Barmy Army, why do you keep coming up the track like that? Master, what are you doing? You're not a master, you suck. Oh my god, and the idol just packs us, and we're up and over, ladies and gentlemen. I did not know that you could flip a race car at Bristol, but then again, I don't think Rusty Wallace knew that either. Trying to get going here. Pyromaniac takes the win. We are a lap down, folks. That one wasn't so good. We finished, we're gonna finish the lap down here with critical damage. The scum just decides he's gonna wreck this dude. I'm gonna, you know what? Send it off here, ladies and gentlemen. Critical damage, we get wrecked. Our car is now a compact. It looks like one of those, it looks like one of those AMC gremlins is what it looks like. It got nice and compacted there. We're gonna finish P12. 
We're gonna keep doing this, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna get it until we get it right. Already, it's starting. It's starting already. Oh my god, the optician got, like, lifted off into turn one. But we managed to make it relatively clean into turn one for, I think, the first time ever. It ain't over yet, folks. It is not over yet. Oh my god, there it is. There it is, ladies. Oh my god, somebody is out of... Somebody is out of this world, literally. I saw a car just fly out of screenshot. Oh my goodness, and we just got packed. We got sent into about three cars at once. My goodness, the destruction on the front. Oh my god! Oh my god, watch out for people on pit road! That dude went flying so fast. Oh my goodness! The pack, the packery is unreal in this game. And with this mod, my goodness, we are in third somehow, and we are making good time on our leaders. Great time on our leaders. Oh my goodness, we have a chance here, ladies and gentlemen, as the cars everywhere on the front stretch. White flag, and somebody just died in turn one. Alan Kowicki wanna be. Oh my goodness, the optician, you need to make sure you not need to not do not need to not hit me. We're gonna have to try to survive this final lap here. The optician's not gonna give me any room. Don't do that to me, optician. Don't do that to me. Don't give me them bad vibes, Optician. Oh my goodness, we're gonna cheese this one, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. Winners at Bristol, finally. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> finally did it, ladies and gentlemen. It took me about six or seven tries. I don't know how many tries it took, but we finally got it done. We win at Bristol. Craziness absolute craziness ladies and gentlemen this game in Wreckfest. this game is insane <laughs> we saw a lot of crazy stuff here today talladega really wasn't all that impressive to be honest and i apologize about that but pocono and bristol for sure was an absolute blast you guys definitely need to pick up this game Wreckfest is so much fun especially if you can get it on the pc with all the mods that you saw here today it is absolutely a blast unfortunately that is going to wrap it up here for today today's Wreckfest video that dude named dale doing the clap and bow please honored and humbled as always for you to tune in hey make sure you leave a like it really helps a brother out helps me out if you guys like what you see please make sure that you leave a like hey comment comment share subscribe hit the bell and the subscribe button this way you get notified anytime i go live or anytime i upload a wreckfest video or any kind of video that we do on this channel here uh, if you guys like to see more, please let me know, and we could do some more Wreckfest, ladies and gentlemen. But that is going to be it for today. Thank you all so much, very much, for tuning in and watching, and I will see you guys on the next Wreckfest video. Be safe, have fun, and I will see you guys then. That dude named Dale, I'm out of here. Deuces.